hello, here we are for some quick review of what's going on in the module 10.5. Mm, there will be new weapons, after you can restore them. Been using some professions, in particular this one and this one. Looks like you'll be able to craft a couple more items, including burning, uh, drowned, howling, and the other sort of elephant. Uh, reagents will require lanolin and some other things, mostly can be achieved through doing encounters and dailies. As we can see, even the green weapon is stronger than our legendary one. Uh, if we pick legendary one, it's far more stronger. It even gives some other frost DR. Although the weapon itself doesn't do the, the ever frost damage. They change the description of the set. The set triggers the other charge attack when you use an encounter power now, not the daily. And triggers damage and heal, and if you run, sleep, whatever, uh, it triggers the defense one, which is good as well, and uh, some run speed. It's worth that, in my opinion. Uh, Grimoire. It doesn't have really great increase on power in my opinion. Uh, the pocket blade is absolutely outstanding. So much better power, so much better crit recovery. I feel like there is a lot more recovery than I really need in this all these weapons. So uh, the, we take it for the damage increase, obviously which is on green the weapon is still stronger than howling on in the elemental ones on legendary yeah it's stronger Valhalla set here it is the set uh, whenever enemy attacks the bearer that enemy's damage is reduced by 3% for 6 seconds stacks up to 5 times it stacks similarly to ring of rising power when you reach 10 stacks and keep on attacking you will be keeping on having 10 stacks it's similar with this set but in pve the stack speed slower because the enemies have slow animations in pvp probably everybody will have these stacks the set doesn't work like you get the DR the, yeah, for example when you are attack you get more defense the set works that it debuffs the damage of the people who attacks you so it's good to wear it on those tunes that are always focused or often focused like maybe Gwyf or SW so they have a bit more tankability with this set as it will debuff everybody's damage around maybe on DC if well, I don't know well, you can always change to Baphomet set, but to me it has such horrible statistics that no matter how many times I try, I cannot make it for it. And Valhalla set has some good stats as well, HP, Constitution, Dexterity, Deflection, again recovery. That's why I feel we have too much recovery. I would prefer stats like in Lost Mob. But well, keep in mind that's not the set for the DPS class. Sort of. Um, it's quite a lot of fish life. I'm quite interested in it because I enjoyed fishing in different zones. It was quite good. But I don't see any rewards for completing these collections, for picking every fucking fish. There's no reward simply. It would be nice if we could preview these fishes, they look quite nice on the mini. Uh, there will be new reagents, including legendary. 
they will be required to level our hexbane things. There is no new PvP equipment at all, as you can see. New bones. I didn't pick this frozen reflection anyway. This is quite good, but it's not outstanding. The difference between the tier 1 and the tier 3 is irrelevant, so it's similar campaign to this one where you can pick three different parts of it. Um, check the store nothing much on the store itself we can create a runic q1 for this fartborg where the hell is fartborg oh it's a trial This one is gated a lot lower to heal as well. To go to master, you need to complete the fun breaker island. Well, Svartborg master. Obtaining for completing. Raw emerald. Wow. Rarely, so it won't drop. Yeah. Redeem Arcane Brotherhood support. You will get some marks of something, something. Yield. Also, more energy. It will take ages, especially if like superior ever drops. It's by into account, so you will not be able to, s to buy it or sell it from auction house. Other than doing side work. Elk Tribe will drop Stig and. Uh, Giant support will drop Ubar, whatever it means. So it's a lot of grind. Every fucking faction for different fucking mark. Normal Starborg. Normal Starborg doesn't drop. That doesn't give a chance of dropping legendary mark. It's even more sucky. Relic restoration, I don't do this. Nothing improves on Funbreaker. Heroics, one of the best drops. Different parts, different fields, but there's no NPC for it. for watching.